if you've never played it, Trine is this really, really cool uh, side-scrolling puzzle game that I originally played, I think, on the Xbox 360. I mean, it's a pretty old game. And it came to the Nintendo Switch in November of last year. But uh, it, there's also sequels. Uh, there's Trine 2, and then there's a third one as well. And there is a fourth one currently in development. Uh, if you've never played it, let me go over the the just the general overall purview of what Trine is. Basically, you have a MacGuffin that you have to get. And uh, you have three characters that you can use to, to get it. It reminds me a lot of The Lost Vikings, which is a Blizzard game that was on the Super Nintendo a million years ago, like back when I was in middle school or maybe high school even. Uh, but you hit a button and you can change between the characters. Now in Lost Vikings, you would put like the fat Viking here and the fast Viking here and the, the, the Viking that could shoot arrows over there. When you're playing Trine, you switch between the characters just like you do in Lost Vikings, except they're all together. So basically, the three characters are a wizard. The wizard can do this cool thing where they can draw like objects in the world and then those objects will appear. So you can like draw a big cube to jump on or draw a platform. Um, there's a big fat knight who has like a shield ability and there's a bow and arrow lady who also has the ability to um, swing across things and you use these three characters to overcome whatever puzzles happen to be in the game and there's more than one way to solve the various puzzles and they're really really fun uh, Trine is a fantastic game with really, really cool art style. I love the visual style that Trine had. And that game came out in uh, November of last year for the Nintendo Switch. Well, we haven't heard much about the sequels. Well, um, Peggy, uh, which is the European, the pan-European game information ratings board, basically it's like the ESRB over in Europe, uh, they recently rated uh, a game called Trinology, which is a horrible name. I hate that they call it that. They should just call it the Trine Trilogy. Uh, but the Trinology, uh, they rated it as uh, for Peggy 12 for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, they have a release date of December 31st, 31st, 31st. Uh, December 31st, 2018, so clearly we've already missed that date, but this is something that I believe has been unannounced up until now. Um, if you are looking for a fun side-scrolling platforming game uh, with puzzles in it, uh, then I highly recommend you check out Trine, and if you do end up checking it out, and you really, really like it, and there's a good chance that we're going to be getting the other games uh, for uh, that system, uh, or for the other Trine games on the Nintendo Switch system, and I'm almost 100% sure that Trine 4 will also come to the Nintendo Switch. I mean, this is a company that supported Nintendo in the days of the Wii U. So the idea of them bringing stuff to the Switch, which is an incredibly popular platform, is not outside the realm of possibility, seeing as how they supported Nintendo when they had, like, the least popular platform of all time, it seems like. Uh, not the Virtual Boy, I'm talking about the, uh, the Wii U. Uh, but is Trine a game that you are excited for? Have you ever played the series? And if so, are you going to be picking up the Trinal G uh, on the Nintendo Switch when it comes out, I would assume sometime this year. Let me know.